it's funny, guys. I'm funny. You see, I'm fun. I'm 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 not funny at all. I I don't even know why I try. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a salty video. Sorry, I haven't been uploading recently. I uh I broke my toe, and as stupid as that sounds, you're gonna have to bear with me. It hurt like a. But now I'm feeling a lot better, so it's got me in the mood to make a video. And now I can at least walk. So, but I really that really has nothing to do with video making. I just, just kind of like. You know, I just didn't want to make anything because I was lazy as sh Anyways, off topic of that. And we'll get on to the topic at hand today. Now, you all clicked on the thumbnail and the title because we talking about Shannon, aka Creepshow Art. I forgot to mention one thing. <laughs> um, subscribe, and I'm doing this thing where I drew myself as a stand user, so if you'd like, you can, you can, you know, draw your character as a stand. If you don't know what a stand is, watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure already, Jesus Christ. Anyways, actually back onto the topic at hand. Since you've clicked on this video, most likely for Creepshow Art, but if you don't know who that is, then I will fill you in. Shannon, or Creepshow Art, is a art commentator that uses, you know, art in their background for their videos and uses commentary over them. Discussing drama topics, different topics in general, and has a wide variety of content. One video you can talk about popular art community drama, one video you can talk about racist artists. TikTok predator situations. It's like the whole lot. And Creepshow Art has inspired many to make their channels sort of mine too, but more of inspiration for my content change. Now that I have filled you in, we might as well get into what's happening today. Now recently, over the past couple of days as of recording, Shannon has been exposed for going on a website, LolCow, under an anonymous identity, and doing a lot of nasty stuff. Which is something that most people were shocked about, because Shannon has been known to be kind of kind, loving, and talks about subjects that are, you know, kind of grim but it takes him with a harsh tone while being kind at the same time. Overall, a very lovable character that she portrays on her YouTube, but in this lol cow, Shannon doesn't look very well. Or at least not living up to the YouTube persona that Shannon portrays on her channel. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, in this case it is, but now not being like your YouTube persona is the entire point of why it's called a YouTube persona, but this is to the point where it's gotten into illegal habits and overall just being a very mean-spirited person, which hey, I indulge in jokes and laughing at people, but it's funny. This just wasn't funny. So with the help of Omnia and Harley TBS, I show you these screenshots. I encourage you to go check out their link in description but with the help of them providing screenshots in their videos i will go over now before i do go over this i'd like to mention that this is literally just allegations i cannot say in you know in full that these are true 100 percent you can form your own opinion but i wouldn't come to any conclusions about you know creep show arts personality if i was wrong i will probably private this video and make a one following up defending shannon or you know just bringing to light that i was wrong and apologizing for that so again i want to reiterate these are literally just allegations so i'm just going to be giving my opinion on them so don't again don't get any ideas that shannon is this horrible person don't say oh i can't believe shannon would do this i can't believe shannon was such a bad person it it, it could be not true it could be true that was a bunch of jittery nonsense but you understand the gist of what i was trying to say now finally moving on to the lol cow screenshots now shannon can be seen on her lol cow making fun of friends and literally leaking someone's private twitter now you may be thinking one what are these about and where are the screenshots and number two how can you prove that this is shannon now one i will read the screenshots on screen now i didn't save it but the gist was shannon's sister was in the hospital for something we don't know what and she put her emer her as her emergency contact however when shannon reached out tried to figure out what was going on her sister blocked her and said she was invading her privacy she also said something along the lines that her family was neglecting her even though shannon had reached out it's really weird a couple years ago i found her sister's twitter because she talked about it in a story time and she's definitely insane and then he you know leaked the twitter and when i say he i'm trying to paraphrase this says like it isn't shannon that one i just like to start off the bat with uh how does this person know this information if it's not shannon now shannon posting publicly about her sister blocking her could be that case but if so that kind of just makes shannon a douchebag and shannon was trying to defend herself from leaking her twitter or, excuse me her sister's twitter why would she post something publicly about them blocking her so this this information is literally something that only Shannon could know. Unless this person has deep cuts and ties with 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 Shannon and knows every move that Shannon makes. She's being tracked by a bunch of snipers outside her house. You know how Atlantis that sounds? So, and even if it's not Shannon, let's say it's not Shannon. A very possible thing. I actually scratched that possible thing. Why would you be a dick and leak the Twitter? It makes no sense. Like, make it make sense. You're just being a dick overall. That's not, that's not being Coolio haha I outsmarted you with my knowledge. Destroying you with facts and logic. That's just kind of being a dick. Oh, but it was public 
no, it was privatized. It was a private Twitter. And being known as Shannon's, f you know, sh Shannon's sister, you're gonna get something. And if Shannon had talked about this in a story time, then again, you're, you're gonna get something, you know? And by the way, I'd also like to mention that this account literally had 200 followers. If Shannon, a YouTuber with 500k subscribers, or more, made a video where she put in her sister's Twitter, you're sure you're a hundred percent sure that that Twitter wouldn't be over at least a thousand followers? You gotta be kidding me. Shannon's audience is humongous. Humongous? Among- Now is not the time for Among Us jokes, alright? But I swear this Twitter would be over at least a thousand followers if it was in a Shannon video. You know, creep show art. So that's kind of about it for this post. I mean, it's kind of overruled that, hey, you know, Shannon would be the person to know this information. This Twitter would be a lot more popular. So it's looking pretty sus. I, s I said I would make an Among Us joke. I said- I said I wouldn't do it, and I did it. I can't hold back my urges. I am po I'm sorry. On to the next post. Now, Shannon is kind of being a little bit of a- A little bit of what we call the prick. And making fun of their, their own, you know, co-workers. If you can consider YouTube as a job, which it is for Creepshow, I mean, she has over 500k. Half a million subscribers. Don't tell me you're not making money. But even insulting some of her own friends, people she supported openly in her videos. Such as, like, so D'Angelo Wallace, or to glare, and even which using the R slur in a derogatory state. Now, I personally, in my past, have said the R slur, and you can grab your pitchforks and murder me for doing that. It's something that I'm not too proud of, but I do use it at certain moments, especially when I can't be like a Friday Night Funkin' level. I get really angry, or I div like division down in Rocket League. I get to be pissed off, or I'd maybe call myself it when I do something stupid or I forget something. I've refrained from doing that much now, but it still occurs every once in a while. Again, I'm not excusing myself. I'm just saying, you know. I do it, so I can't call her out too much on it, but I can say calling your friends the R slur isn't a very fun experience, especially when you're not joking, which is really scummy seeing someone turn on their own friends and honestly bash them. That's the type of shit that gets me pissed off, honestly. The scummy behavior from Shannon is just radiating off of these posts, and I find the irony for someone who's so kind in their videos and takes harsh on things that, you know, could be debatable, turns around and does this. I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of funny, you have to admit. And I'd just like to mention that it's awfully sus that Creepshow would make posts on this lol cow about Helpless Peaches and Toby. Which I find it quite funny, the fact that Creepshow has been in drama with both of these people and suddenly makes a lot of posts about them. I don't know, I just find that a little sus, but that's just me being uh being being a wacky conspiracist you know lock me up for consp i don't even think conspiracy is what i think it is it's it's probably something else i just never had the time to look it up because i'm not very smart i uh, lock me up for conspiracy screw it i'm gonna say it anyways while it has been confirmed that this was before then it just shows that shannon may have even been the wrong even more with hopeless peaches situation now i haven't really went into this hopeless peaches situation all i know is that you know people made videos on it and it lasted for quite a while because no one uploaded but hey that's just my one complaint about the entire thing anyways back to the creep show art subject jesus christ i have a habit of going off topic on to the next screenshot and this one you can see that shannon Shannon uses transphobic slur, the T slur. And I just want to state before I get into the other one that I am not a part of the LGBTQ plus community, so I cannot really take offense to this. But there are a lot of people who can. And uh, by the way, I support the LGBTQ plus community. You're all welcome on this channel because, you know, you know, everybody here. If you're subscribed, then you're cool, you know? So, you know, if you want to become cool, you gotta, you gotta subscribe, you know? So, just, just, you know, just do that. But in all seriousness, do I really have to state how bad this screenshot is? Now, I do not know whether Shannon are trans to, or not. I, at least to my knowledge, Shannon is not trans. But even if you are, it's not a very good thing to say to a trans person. Oh, did I forget to mention the fact that they also used fake boy, which is a slur used for transgender men, which are literally just men, okay? I don't really need to say that they're trans transgender because it's something they're just men like they're no different from the average male now in this one it's pushing racism in this one she insults popular youtuber saikuno among a streamer you know who he is about his skin tone and i quote he literally has the most fucked up skin tone i have seen on an asian man so for being a uh, body positivity youtuber a little ironic bud it's just blatant hypocrisy blatant 
hypocrisy. Now Shannon actually trying to cover up the fact that this lol cow was owned by her, tries to self-deprecate in a way without actually self-deprecating. Now Shannon would insult herself on this lol cow, which is kind of flip-floppy for the lol cow person saying that it isn't Shannon because they were very supportive in Shannon of basically all these posts that I've shown so far. So again, bro, kind of sus. Now ironically, after this all went down, Creepshow Art had apparently gotten hacked right after getting criticized from another YouTuber. Kinda sus, bro. I am so... I am so, so sorry. I just can't stop today. I can't. I'm sorry. But it's so awfully suspicious, the fact that literally she got hacked, in quotation marks, hacked on the specific date and time when she got criticism. Do I believe that Shannon actually got hacked? Not a fucking bit. I'd love to give a creator that I actually enjoy the benefit of the doubt, but I literally can't. This has to be either the biggest coincidence ever or Shannon just lying through her teeth, which kind of annoys me when you're talking about something as big as this. Uh-oh, guys. Hackers deleted the post. I didn't want to, you know, shy away, you know, any form of criticism. It was the hackers, guys. It was the hackers. Which the best part is, is that, oh my god, creep show is not very good at, you know, pretending and or lying. Well, actually, I may want to go back on that statement because they've kind of gotten away with this for years. I mean, this this account has been up for more than a year. But okay, I insist. I mean, I progress. I don't know. Shannon did not, and I did not tamper with any of the videos on her channel, which made people, by effect, even more suspicious of Shannon's hacking story. Because what in person in their right mind? What hacker in their right mind that has the ability to hack into your channel, right after you get criticism of course, would just delete your community posts, alright? I would love to know, and I'd love to know why they would not touch any of your videos whatsoever, even change a single character in the title or description, or change the thumbnail, or even private one of them. Nothing got tampered with with the videos, but they just changed icon, banner, and community post. What fucking stupid brain dead hacker would do something like that? I'm genuinely concerned. Like, if that person did that, they could not have any thought process whatsoever. I'm losing brain cells by the second of me trying to explain this to even myself. I've literally spent five minutes in the break of this recording just trying to think about the, the, the way I could give the benefit of the doubt to Shannon, but I literally cannot. It is blatantly clear that this hacking story is a complete lie, and I will go word to word ham on that. I will not let that go. Even if Lannon was- if Shannon, excuse me, Jesus Christ. Even if Shannon was not this lol cow, which I'm not saying she necessarily is, but all the signs are kind of pointing towards it. Even if she's not, I'm still gonna call this hacking bullshit story bullshit that is. Now you may be thinking, where is the confirmation? In this entire video, you've just shown screenshots of a specific person talking about Shannon's friends' experiences that only Shannon would know, even though that's clear enough proof as it is, but I'd like to see some actual formal proof that shows that it was Shannon. And luckily for you, my friends, I do have that. This should be the final segment of the video. I know it's running on long, but you, you, you just stick with me here. So before her channel got hacked. Shannon had composted a community post where she tried to address some of the criticisms levied at her, which she just portrayed in such an elegant way to the point where all the points were flawed. They were logically, you know, she, she beat them with facts and logic. And you can tell I'm entirely joking. It wasn't a very good community post, so I will grab some selections from that. And I didn't think I needed a VPN so she wouldn't get my IP address. She had shown me pictures of her daughter so, and been so supportive on my channel I thought we were okay, but I was wrong because she'd been posting on certain sites posing as me, spoofing my IP, doxing my family members, writing things about myself and my friends, sending me death threats from other accounts, making false accounts to spam my comment section, spamming the comment sections of my friends, saying hateful things about me in order to get them to drop me, and just all around doing what she did years ago. That's not it, of course, but the amount of time and energy she's put into this is well beyond what I thought she was capable of, and as far as I can tell, she's been doing this as well for over a couple of years. And the fact is, um, Shannon? Shannon, Shannon, 
Chain. How the fuck in years, and I mean years, this is years, this is 365 days in a fucking year. How the fuck in three years can you not change your IP once? You did not restart your router once in your entire fucking line. Or at least I believe that's the cause of changing your IP. Basically, it's along the lines of yes, I looked it up. Now I'd need to know whether she's using a publicly IP to make these sites or a LAN IP, which be entirely different story. But basically, you have not resuited, re restarted your router once in the entire existence of three years. I sincerely doubt that. And that's not on me riding on the bias and suspicions. I'm just literally saying I restart my restart my router every once a week. I know Shannon could just have better internet specs, but come on, your internet isn't that flawless. You literally need a in gold router to be that good. But oh no, no, this isn't the only proof that Shannon was on lolcat. Before Shannon deleted her Twitter, and I can confirm this is literally Shannon's at, I remember it sincerely. She literally states outright that she used to use lolcat, saying that, you know, she got bored of it, which, you know, in states and, you know, implies that she did use it before. And oh no, no, that is not the only one. Shannon, Shannon's IPs accurately reflect her different locations in the device models, phone, laptop, etc. she's been known to use. We have additional data that we don't want to divulge, but you're welcome to look at some of our past outings to see how we proceed. Her explanation only proves that she can't deny her legitimacy. The implication that nearly 300 posts over the span of 2.5 years all came from the single spoofed IP is ridiculous. Shannon is not to know which singular IP she's confirming in her post in the, hist in the history because she's too fucking stupid to realize that she just implicitly confirmed her entire post history at the same time she expects us to believe that it was one IP who spoofed her to frame her. She was going to claim that all the other IPs in post history is spoofed now too. She knows she fucked up. Otherwise, in her defense, it wouldn't be. It was my device information in my IP, but somehow I was in frame. Now, I personally could not have said it better myself. It was a really fucking stupid mood of move of Sham Shan F Shannon. Excuse me to put that in there. Uh, your IP is changing no matter how good your router is, no matter what device you use. It's going to be changed at least once in two and a half to three years of posting. And again, having that one spoof. IP is ridiculous. And by the way, did I forget to mention you cannot just spoof an IP randomly from an email conversation? That is physically impossible. Literally, I'm not joking. It's probably very, it's very unlikely. Unless Shannon clicked on a Grabify link like an idiot or revealed at least a something, something that could get her hack and her IP spoofed then otherwise there is no explanation for this and shannon did not mention that she clicked on any suspicious links whatsoever and i'd also like to mention if this person hacked your or like hacked you got your ip address and spoofed it and was able to make a lol count lol cow count why didn't they affect any other social media i mean if i was in that position i literally had a very popular youtuber social media at my dispense don't you think i would do something with it maybe i'm not on the right terms here and you can correct me in the comment section but this is all i really had to say it's late at night it's like 10 2 p.m and i'm getting very tired i'm gonna go rest up and hopefully my broken toe is not going to be broken anymore by like the end of the week expect a bit more uploads soon i've been trying to take in a little break because i double uploaded once and that burnt me out and i broke my toe as well but i'm getting back into the groove thank you for watching if you don't mind subscribing if you enjoyed the content i make more videos just like these on situations just like these giving my take and opinions on the whole thing if that's your style of content stick around for the next one and the next one after that in all of eternity stop never stop watching me only watch me consistently on a daily bye people